You can read all kinds of horror stories online and one that you might have come across is that adding injection foam to your walls is going to make your drywall crack and bow. Now, can this happen? Yeah, it can, and it's usually pretty rare, but there's an underlying reason why. So, if you find that you're reading these articles about drywall cracking and popping because injection foam was added, it's not necessarily because of the foam itself. Some people assume that this happens because the foam expands and it puts too much pressure on the walls and causes the cracks. Well, injection foam insulation doesn't actually expand. Open cell spray foam does, but injection foam does not expand. Now there is pressure that comes from the actual injection of the foam, but the damage that's caused the wall in a case where it does bow or crack is usually because there's previous damage to the wall. Now this can happen if there's been any kind of water damage to the drywall, or if there was another hole or a crack that was patched, but it wasn't patched correctly. Now, majority of the time when we do see these problems, that ends up being the culprit is that there was previous damage to the wall. So I'm here to tell you that adding retro foam to your walls is not gonna cause any kind of significant damage unless there was previous damage to the wall. And I'm here to tell you that a good contractor will take care of that for you and not leave you with cracks and bowed walls. Now, if you wanna learn more about retro foam and what's the real, check out our YouTube channel, Foam University by Retro Foam. I'm your building science brainiac reminding you to bring a little science to every project.